morning everyone, Nick the Gardener, and uh, the morning after the storm, Storm Ellen and uh, Fergus through today. I came up here last night to um, check on my compost bin lids because I remember I moved a couple of bricks off and forgot to replace them. And I'll just turn you around now and I'll show you what, what I'm seeing now. Yeah, so the brassica cage <laughs> been completely battered. Uh, some of the plants have uh, fallen down. And, oh God, that, that one over there looks like it's been completely ripped out. So that's a bit of a shame, look at that, down there. As you can see through the mesh here very well, but uh, yeah, that one's been ripped out completely. And Brussels sprout for Christmas. Look at that's still standing. But uh, most of the others have been flattened. That's a bit of a shame. I'm sure I can sort it out. See, the trouble is, there's little holes under here from the mole. And uh, so, yeah, look at this here. That's uh, flattened. But yeah, got a, an hour or so. In fact, look at those Brussels sprouts don't look too bad. Yeah, I've got an hour or so to, um, look, there's already pigeon poop on the top here. You can see where it's been eating around the leaves. So that's just since last night. So yeah, got to get these all covered up and restaked and what have you. So uh, yeah, luckily it stopped raining now. A little time lapse at the start was watching the clouds clear, a little bit of blue sky, but it didn't quite prevail. But I'm up here now, I'm going to try and sort it out. So I'll just uh, get you on a time lapse. Later on in the night When the crowds have gone We could talk under moonlight Till dawn mm -hmm. We could stay to watch the sunrise Oh yeah, so sorry I uh recording it was starting to spit the rain and that so I uh, just put a turn the camera off and put it to one side for a minute but uh, yeah basically I've been round now and I've uh, put the canes back round the plants well canes wasn't the problem it was a string what I used it was just that uh, natural twine and uh, just degraded really quickly but basically what I've done now just to help keep the net on and make it a bit more tidier just tied a few little bits of string around just to um, you know keep it taut, keep it nice and stable, and uh, hopefully it won't blow away again. And this one, like I said, I was going to do, but I didn't actually get round to doing it. Was down here, was tie some bits of string to a peg just to keep this middle bit down. And I think this one it feels a lot better now. In fact, I just seen I just need to tie that broccoli back up. But yeah, basically what's happened is the string down here has just rotted away and uh, broken. So that's another job I wasn't expecting to do today down here. But so I'm glad basically the, the lids on the compost didn't blow away. So that's pretty good. I was concerned because I took the bricks off here to put on here to use as a surface to put my camera on. And I suddenly thought last night when I could hear the wind howling. I didn't put the bricks back on because generally what happens is the wind comes under here and, went, whoo, and yeah and it will land onto other people's plots which I don't want but uh, yeah and one other thing I wanted to check was that the little cloche on the asparagus is still there and luckily that's still there so yeah not too much damage but glad I got down here and I did because the, uh, the pigeons they definitely tucked into my best Brussels sprout you can see the poop on top there Nice closer for that boy, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they also had a bit of a go and miss of a Brussels sprout over here. You can see they've had a good go at this one just here. You can see all the little bits and there's another bit of poop there. Little sods. I left my cabbages alone, luckily. I stood the cow, let's back up. And then I thought, oh, I'll come and have a look, see where Noel is. And he's gone. I think he's been resurrected. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think whatever killed him has probably come back to finish him off. 
So yeah, I didn't get a chance to move him. Someone else already has. But while I'm here, I haven't even looked to see if there's any more mole activity. But uh, I'm pretty sure that might be a poop under there, like I said yesterday. But uh, having a quick look round. Now this, I don't think was here yesterday, was it? That's where the board beans were. They're just coming through. So I don't think that was there. No, because I saw that bit over there. But uh, this bit is new. So I think Noel's still alive. <laughs> He's been resurrected from the dead at this funny time of year. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no more garlic coming through here yet on my uh, unknown hardnecks. But uh, yeah, still hopeful. All the others are coming up. But, um, broad beans are doing okay. So yeah, glad that um, I managed to get down and sort out these cages. Looking good again now. And uh, yeah, if you've had any storms come through, it's best to go down and check your allotments, especially if you've got polytunnel. In fact, there's a guy over there, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> there was a polytunnel, in fact, over God, I think I've just seen the cover, actually. Let's go this way. So yeah, just going over to the communal areas, there's a guy here with a polytunnel, and uh, it looks like it's over there, all the trees in the... Um, not the trees, so in the um, oh, orchard. No, I don't know who he is. Well, I don't, I don't know what his name is or his phone number. I'd give him a ring. It's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, just have a quick look round, see what else has happened. Because I see some more sheets and stuff over here and that. That's Stuart's plot, I think. I don't, I haven't got his number either. Oh, pigeon, pigeon. <laughs> But, uh, sorry, I'll zoom back out. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad everywhere else. Normally there's all compost lids everywhere and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad um, nothing's been too damaged anyway by first glances around. So, yeah, hopefully, oh, there's a bit of blue sky now, look. So that's good to see. Yeah, in fact, what I'm going to do in a minute, I might fix some more compost around the... Um, Onions, like I said, I was going to do the other day, but didn't get round to doing it. Just down here. So yeah, these little bald patches here, run by these onions. I'm just going to give them a little bit of compost, just a bucket's worth, nothing too much. But uh, yeah, the celery stalks now are starting to look not the stalks, the uh, flower spikes. Sorry, and the gazanias been hit now by the frosts and stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to sort out a bit of compost for these uh, onions. I might stick a bit more around the base of that purple sprite and broccoli actually, because it's still got a bit of a crack there. I did try and tread it down a bit. But yeah, I need to sort it out. So yeah, I'm going to crack on while it's dry. Put you back. Yeah, so that's literally just a five minute job if you've already got some compost handy. Yeah, so just sprinkled a bit on that bit what was going a bit bare. And uh, yeah, yeah, cover up the soil, protect it a bit. Feed the soil, feed the plants. And uh, yeah, just looking through here, I realise that the uh, leachate, after all that rain, my little drip on my uh, bowel there got quite 
Oh, so yeah, got got a bit more leachate in there again. I think I'll just leave it there today. So I'll empty this. That looks like it's going to be full again. Yeah, there's quite a lot in there. So yeah, good job my little buckets on here didn't blow away. We've got uh, little bricks in, as you can see. So yeah, that's good. And just empty all that back into there. Sorry if I keep swinging you around and that. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, not a bad sky now. Just uh, the sun's coming out as it's going down. <laughs> right, so what I need to do is just pull these back on there. Yeah, and these, uh, you know, shrunk an inch or two. I'd say since uh, since I put them in there, so that's going well. I'll grab my glove. Right, I think that's about it today at the allotment. Just wanted to make sure the pigeons didn't eat all my stuff. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And um, yeah, I hope everyone has a good week, getting up to Christmas soon. In fact, I've just seen one kale, what I've, what I've missed there. So I'm just going to tie that up and I'm going to go. So thank you to everyone for watching and subscribing, commenting. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.